Wow Factor Radio, brought to you by the Rocky Mountain Horse Expo. I am your host, Chris Garrett, and my guest today is KJ from KJ's Natural Horsemanship. Thanks for joining me today, KJ. Good morning. I know you're quite the character, and I can't wait to talk to you. I know this is going to be fun, and I haven't met you yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing you at the Expo. Can you give us a little background about you? Who are you, and what do you do? Uh, well, I'm a natural horsemanship trainer. I guess I started out out there in Arizona. I've always had a gift for training ponies. I started out basically in Colorado uh, at riding rented horses. So we grew up in country, but rent, you know we we were never cowboy. And uh, in that, I started renting horses and and uh, got good at it. And then started to ride for free, and God knows, didn't know I could make money at it. So uh, it, it progressed from there, and then uh, the BLM got a hold of me in Arizona and wanted me to start training wild mustangs. So uh, there was a uh, couple people in there that just grabbed a hold of me. Sitka is the one that made me so popular so quick, so fast, unrideable, untrainable, supposedly from two trainers. Uh, after I finished with her, she you could ride her bridleless rope off of her, half pass, side pass, spin 360, uh, drag out, play horse soccer with her. I teach horse soccer as well. So uh, it kind of blew up from there. Horse um, soccer. Boy, that, that just blew up a whole bunch of wonderful visions in my mind. We ought to be doing that at the expo. <laughs> Invite everyone to play well, a horse I, soccer game. <laughs> they, were, they were talking about that and, uh, and that they want me to come back next year. And that's how I ended up meeting Rick Lamb off uh, RFD. Uh-huh. Uh, so I ended up doing a show down there at Westworld, which Rick Lamb hosted me on his radio show, uh-huh. um, and it was quite uh, quite the rave. So it, it, it it's fun. What brought me back here to Colorado was uh, two deaths in the family. Uh, my grandma, who was time to go, 89 years old, and my third cousin died on the same day of cancer. So. My mother asked me to come back to Colorado, and here I am making a go of it. Well, Channel 9 News grabbed a hold of me and said, well, we want to introduce cowboys coming back, horses coming back, and definitely your natural horsemanship, which led into this expo and and, and all of that. So all my training is natural horsemanship as close to. We all rob from each other. Craig Cameron, Clinton Anderson, Ken McNabb all know uh, my name. But my techniques are as close to a feller that we got to all respect. His name is Tom Dorrance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he is a legend of legends, and uh, I adore his, his thought concept when it comes to these ponies. Uh, me, uh, the ultimate, the, the lightest touch demands respect. Riding bridleless is your final fully trained out horse. It, it, when you can ride bridleless on a, on a pony, you've got a maximized trained horse. Everything else is a lead up to that, in my opinion. So is that your ultimate goal for your horses that you train, is to get them to the point where you can ride in bridleless? Well, I, on my personal, yes. But it, it, as as anything else, your own personal horses usually get lacking. Uh, they don't get all the training that you need to because you're usually busy. But for my customers, uh, absolutely. I've got uh, – I had a student out of uh, uh, Drangel, Colorado. They were from Germany and lived six months over there, six months over here. And she uh, qualified and graduated from my bridalist class. Uh, she was amazing, a little spitfire. Uh, her and her husband are wonderful people. But uh, – just it, it's fun. It's fun to watch. It's fun to see. I get talking about horses. I get super excited. So some of the things that I teach is basic veterinarian, basic farriership, trailer backing classes, because how many people buy a horse trailer and can't back it? I give confidence courses to build people's confidence. All of a sudden, one day, you go to step up on that pony, saddle up, and look down, and that ground looks scary. Yep. <laughs> so to build to that confidence. Yep. Yeah, it happens yeah. to us all, even me, you know. And uh, so with that, I train the horses as well and people as well. So I'm hoping to bring all of it back home here to Colorado. Plus, I, I teach basic dietitian, and I'm trying to introduce a food product of diet. I can't say that I've created it because the products are already there, but I'm trying to market that as well of KJ's Horse Blend. So um, 
it's, it's been successful. I tried it on my ponies. If you go on my Facebook, you'll see my black and white in there. And coats just popping, eyes are clear, hooves are sharp and neat. Uh, it, and it tones up a pony so quick, it looks like you've been riding your horse, even if you haven't been. So it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Oh, it sounds like it. Say, what are you going to be presenting at this year's Horse Expo? <laughs> I want to toss it up a little bit, but <clears throat> Murdoch Trailers has sponsored up uh, one of their trailers. So one of my sessions will be directional driving, uh, using that to get a horse to load and unload, and a lot of groundwork off of this. I'm doing horse interviews before this because we don't want, you know, something going wrong ever with so i i before these shows i always do uh, horse interviews with people who own horses from the area or the region there's a breeder that has some some pretty good horses here so i i have yet to go over and do these interviews with them uh once i do that then uh we'll bring it in and, and run a ground program later on you know it's, it's hard to cover what all i do in an hour shows over a three-day period so it's going to be creative. It's going to be a lot of groundwork. <laughs> okay, that sounds great. And I know loading horses in the trailer is, I've heard, is the number one complaint people have with their horses because a lot of people don't have trailers to practice on or don't have the time or skill to do it. So that's a really valuable thing to learn. Now, I think you have some affiliations with some equine therapy groups, veterans, that kind of thing. Can you tell us about that? Yes, yes, it is. Uh, and how I'm trying to get affiliated with this and what I have done, uh, hippotherapy is a program that I was running in Arizona for people with ADD or physical disabilities, uh, and now we're into a mental disorder due to war. These vets coming back, and I've been in touch with a couple locations, one down in Colorado Springs, yet I still have to have that interview with them, trying to help assist our vets deal with everything being introduced to the equine. It's a delicate program, and it's something worthy that I, I think is worth investment. Uh, I'm not in that for the money. It's more of brother to brother and horse horse being introduced to people. It, it all works. One, one hand washes the other off of this. I think it's a good program. It's all over the TV, and I want to be part of it. You're talking about the veterans who have PTSD? Is that what you're talking about? Cor correct. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Very good. Well, that's that's an honorable thing to do. I know you are a veteran yourself, aren't you? Yes, I am. Uh, ex ex Navy. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, thank you for your service, and we're glad you made it home. So, welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> thank All you. Right. That was a long. It was a long time ago. I served during peacetime, but uh, yeah, had to, you know, so. They, they uh, yeah, they've got a special place in my heart. I, I grew up in Broomfield when it was just a small country town, and I went to North Glen High. And when I left here, it was all cows. The horses that I've seen since I got back here from Fort Worth, Texas, which the ho horses outnumber the cows out there big time. To see uh, horses being brought back to Colorado greatly pleases me. Uh, I want to get people involved back into horses and on a natural horsemanship basis rather than, you know, I did rodeo when I was young, bareback bronc rider, and I find I, uh, there's a cowboy way of handling horses and then there's a natural horsemanship way. So I look like a cowboy, I walk like a cowboy, I, I chew tobacco, uh, but I am more considered to be a horseman of a gentler way. And again, Tom Dorrance, wow, I look up to him and he's a legend in his own. So Yes. That's one of the purposes of the Rocky Mountain Horse Expo is to get people more involved in horses and, and let the young people know that this is a good place to be, good, wholesome exercise, outdoor place to be away from the computer with our horses, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, if we can get everybody more invested into ranch ways instead of so much of this computer technology that we have that's splitting families up this will bring a family together i actually train i i have to alleviate his name but he's a government type person and his his whole purpose for having me train his horses and his family was to bring a family back together bond them together as a family from from what what it all started from in the beginning so I, I think it's a wonderful idea. 
Uh, it touches my heart, and I want to be so much involved with that and bringing Colorado back to that. We used to be that way here, and then it went to a cow town, and then it apparently it's coming back to it, and I so much want to participate in this. Well, we're glad you're going to participate in the expo and that you're back in Colorado. I'm really looking forward to meeting you in just a couple weeks at the National Western Event Center at the Rocky Mountain Horse Expo, which is this year is March 11, 12, and 13. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And you can get tickets at RockyMountainHorseExpo.com. So, Keiji, thank you so much for joining us today, and we're looking forward to meeting you in person. And are you going to be bringing horses with you? I, I will be. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I will. All right. Terrific. Well, we'll watch for you on the schedule and figure out where it is that you will be doing your presentations, and we will see you soon. Very good. Thank you. All right. And thank you for joining us today on the Wow Factor Radio. Do join us again next week for a brand new show. This is Chris Garrett. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>